Thank you, Dr. Hanich. And good morning, everyone. Our Lasallian tradition places students at the heart of all of our endeavors. So it is fitting that we continue our long-standing practice of centering our commencement exercises on the words of a student, speaking as a representative for all of our students. Our speaker is a nursing major who has demonstrated a deep understanding of and a passion for the values of charity and justice, which are the hallmarks of a St. John Baptist de La Salle's pedagogy. As this year's recipient of the Brother Emery C. Molinauer Award, which recognizes these values, Molly has been a member of our Sigmund Fide residential learning community, a service scholar, and an active leader in university ministry and service initiatives and service immersion trips. She was also only one of 300 college students chosen nationwide as a Newman Fellow in 2015. I am pleased to introduce our 2016 commencement speaker, Ms. Molly Mayon. Thank you. 
Listen to that echo and know that in its reverberation lies your voice. And be so proud of that. I want to go back, though, to what Cardinal Tagle said to the Dean's Honors List students this past September. He challenged each one of us to be a person of honor. He said, and I quote, be honorable through authenticity, be honorable by standing for peace, be honorable through humility. Ask yourself, am I honorable? My fellow graduates, I don't feel as though I'm in any position to give you advice or to pose a question that stands between you and your diploma. I may be younger than many of you, and I'm almost positive I'm shorter than most, but I have to ask, are we honorable? If the question were just regarding our academic accomplishments, then the diplomas we received today would be a tangible yes. But Cardinal Togley's message goes beyond the academics. He asks us to reflect on our authenticity, our intention for peace, and our humility. So I ask again, are we honorable? The good thing is, if any of us do not believe we are, no extra gen ed classes are required to become a person of honor. We are in a position of privilege right now. I hope we see that. Not everyone has the opportunity to attend a private university, let alone graduate from one. With this diploma comes power and more privilege. And while there's nothing wrong with being in positions of privilege, there is an expectation that comes with it, an obligation to be honorable in every sense of the word. Let me share with you what I've learned about honor from Lucy, a woman my age from El Salvador who I interviewed as part of a public health course that I took at the University of Central America two summers ago. To the nursing and pre-med majors, Lucy waits on average six months, oftentimes longer, to obtain a doctor's appointment. To the business majors, she shared how her dad's business failed, causing her to work three jobs to support her siblings. Nutrition majors, Lucy did not always have enough money to buy healthy food. Political science, psychology, social work majors, gang violence in the community impacted Lucy's daily life. Education majors, Lucy's bus ride to the university was two hours each day, making it extremely difficult to attend class. I tell this story not to make Lucy's life a spectacle, but to emphasize how all of our paths can intertwine, how we need to work with one another and truly listen to those we encounter so that we can learn from them and respond effectively. Lucy may live over 3,000 miles away, but the issues she faces are issues that we face here in Philadelphia as well. I tell this story because I believe there is power in it. Class of 2016, while we each hold unique talents and have individual goals and dreams, I ask you to not let the title of your major confine you. Whether you have one major or two or three for those overachievers, <laughs> know that the world is interdisciplinary. That honorable work challenges us to wear many hats. I'm confident the one we're all wearing today is a pretty good start to our collection. Let me offer one more thought about being honorable. I babysit for a little girl who loves Dr. Seuss's green eggs and ham. For those of you who need a refresher, this character who calls himself Sam I Am meets the protagonist of the story and tries to convince him to eat green eggs and ham. He persistently asks him to try them, offering them in a house, on a boat, or on a train. The protagonist strongly refuses, holding true to the belief that he does not like them. This continues until the protagonist tries the green eggs and ham, likes them, and shouts that he would eat them here, there, or anywhere. I'm sure you're all wondering what this has to do with honor. Classmates, when you walk across this stage and receive your diplomas today, I challenge you to be like Sam I am. I challenge you to meet people and immediately tell them what you're passionate about, whether that's screen eggs and ham or philosophy or digital arts. Don't be afraid to change settings and perspectives to go after your dreams, whether they take you on a train, 
on a boat, back to your hometown, or to a country you've never heard of, and never stop asking questions. Maybe not as many questions in a row as Sam I M asks, but nonetheless, never stop asking them. On the same hand, I challenge you to be like the protagonist in this story. Find out what you don't like. I'm sure you know of a few things by now. Whether they be green eggs and ham, or unbalanced chemical equations, or systemic poverty. Find ways to fix them. Stay true to who you are. Speak with conviction and know that your voice weighs more than you realize. In our pursuits to do well, let us not forget to be good, to do good. And when life gives you opportunities to speak to a stadium full of ears, let your heart choose the words. Let the things that unsettle you be your compass as you work to fix them or mend them or edit them. I promise you they will take you to new heights, proving that you can do anything, here, there, or anywhere. Lastly, class of 2016, I want to thank you. Thank you for inspiring one another and laughing with one another and creating a space for not only academic success but also invaluable friendship. Thank you for the sports wins and the plays and the amazing example of leadership, kindness, and service that you have each shown in different ways. Perhaps the greatest example of honor is sitting right in front of me. We have a lot to celebrate. Let us be grateful and honorable. Let us live out the Lasallian values of faith, service, and community. Let us share our passion, seek out injustices, and turn our privilege into a conscious social responsibility. But first, before we do all that, let us take a moment to be here, to look around. Names, faces, bleachers, moments. Let us be grateful for them. Let us revel in them. Class of 2016, my hope is that we never stop exploring. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to one another. We owe it to LaSalle University. St. John Baptiste de LaSalle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. Thank you. That may have been the best student speech I have ever heard at a commencement. Thank you, Molly. Yeah.